Hi friends, welcome back to our tutorials. We are continuing with our Oracle database top interview question and answers. This is part three. If you haven't checked out our previous parts, I request you to kindly do so, so that you don't miss out on other valuable information. If you have any doubts and queries, just drop them in the comment section below. I'll be happy to help you for free. Before we proceed, I request you to kindly subscribe to my channel to keep supporting and encouraging me. Let's get started with top interview question and answers on Oracle database part three. So how many types of database triggers exist? So there are totally 12 different types of database triggers. They are made up of different combinations of statement and row triggers, before and after triggers, update, delete and insert triggers. Explain cascading triggers. When a, trigger is, when a trigger is fired due to a statement in another trigger body, then the triggers are termed as cascading triggers. There can be a maximum of 32 cascading triggers. Explain mutating triggers. Triggers giving select to the table on which they are written are called as mutating triggers. Explain constraining triggers. Triggers giving update slash insert, which has a differential integrity constraint, are called as constraining triggers. Give the advantages and disadvantages of clusters. So clusters reduce the access time for joins and increase it for inserts. How can you check constraints for self-referential integrity? In a table, a check condition of a column can reference another column in the same table, thus providing self-referential integrity. Give the various rollback segment states. So there are various rollback segment states like invalid, needs recovery, partly available, offline and online. Is a rollback possible to any save point? Yes, a rollback is possible to any save point. What is the maximum limit on the number of columns in a table? A table can have maximum 254 columns. Explain the significance of AND and double ampersand operators in PL SQL. So AND operator signifies that a user input is needed for the PL SQL block variable. Double ampersand mentions that signifies that this variable's value must be same as the inputted earlier, which is an AND operator. Can a parameter be passed to a cursor? Yes, parameters can be passed to explicit cursors. A cursor parameter could appear wherever a constant appears in a query. What are the different types of rollback segments? The different types of rollback segments are private available to particular instance, public available to all instances. What is seal and floor in Oracle? Seal and floor are functions which are available in Oracle, which are completely opposite of each other. Seal will always return the smallest value of integer. So for example, if you have uh, 10 dot, uh, say 10 dot 5, right, or 10 dot 4, so it would always give you 10, whereas floor will round it to the nearest whole number. So for example, it is 10 dot 6, it will make it 11. So that is the difference between seal and floor. All right, so that brings us to the end of part three on Oracle databases. I hope you're liking this series. I'm continuing in a different style in this series. Let me know how you like it. Drop in your comments, queries in the comment section. I'll be happy to help you for free. Before you leave, I request you to kindly subscribe to my channel to keep supporting and encouraging me. Stay tuned for more tutorials coming out on PL SQL. I hope you'll find them useful. Thank you for joining. See you in the next episode.